the latest version of Gutenberg plugin and WordPress 6.6 .6, when that's released has one of the most important key new features I think WordPress have added in an awful long time. What is it? It's pattern overrides or as some people may call it components. Now what exactly are these? Well, imagine a template that you can insert anywhere in your design, but you can make different parts of that template editable so you can change them, but you can retain that template's design side of things. It's a bit difficult to explain, but let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about. This is an example. This is your typical kind of card design. You've got your title, you've got your image, some content and a button. And you can see underneath we've got exactly the same thing inserted. Now, first of all, I can edit this heading so I can change this to what I want. You can see, change that. If we scroll down, the other two instances are unaffected. Want to change the button? I can change the button. All the other instances are unaffected. So you can see we have control. But at the moment, I can't edit the image. The image isn't made editable. Now, if we take a look on the right-hand side for the block, you can see we've got the block heading, which is what we've seen to be edited, the block content, which is this section underneath, and the block button. But right now, the image is not included in that. But we can change that. We can make edits to this and make that editable too. Let me show you how. If you head into the dashboard and you come into appearance and you come into editor, inside there we've got patterns. Open this up and you see all our patterns are organized underneath. So I can choose my patterns, all patterns, and there are a bunch of patterns included as part of WordPress itself. So we go to my patterns and you see there's the two that I've created. This is our basic block that we've been looking at. Let's click and choose to edit it. And now you'll see We've got the same blocks over on the right hand side, your block heading, content and button, and the design is exactly the same. So let's select our image this time, come over to advanced, scroll down, and inside there you'll see you've got this option that says enable overrides. If we enable that, we can override the content that's part of this pattern or template and make it editable inside the editor. So let's choose that option, we'll give this a name, we'll call this basic image, and click enable. So now that is editable. So if we save and come back out of this, we'll go back to our page. Now we find if we click our image, now we have basic image and we can click and we can replace this with whatever we want. So we open our media library, choose a different image, hit select, we've now changed that image out. So you can see this is pretty cool and you can see underneath those are not affected. So there is the first part that makes this useful. Now let's save this one more time and go back over to our initial pattern and let's make some changes. Let's come into the background itself. We'll select our overall stack. We'll change the color of this. We'll go for this kind of reddish look. Everything else looks fine. You can add some more information in if you wanted to, add additional buttons, but let's just keep this super simple. We'll hit save. And now if we come back over and refresh our page, all our instances have been updated with those changes, but the editable content has not been touched. So again, you can see underneath that we change this, we can change the image now so we can edit this, replace it. We'll choose this one, hit select. You can see that now updates, but all the other instances are left completely intact. This is super powerful, but you can go further. You can actually nest these different design elements into each other. So for example, let's just undo that image. We'll select this second group, and what we'll do is we'll just choose these three dots and we'll say create pattern. Click on there. We can give this a name. We'll call this card grid. We'll come to our categories. And I'll just pop this into my category. We'll set this as synced as well. And we'll click add. And now we've added that one in. So if we come back in and we just choose to add a new one in. So we'll add our card grid in, which I've just created. There we go. That's added that in. So now we've got this design, but let's just again save this and head back over to our original template. Let's change that background color back. Click Save. And now we see all instances, including that new nested instance, all been changed. This is something that will make Gutenberg and make core WordPress a lot more powerful, especially if you want to hand this off to clients. Now, there are still limitations here, so there's still lots of things I'd like to see, and this is kind of version one of this. So I'd like to see a lot more control included in this as it moves forward. But right now, where it stands, 
this does make working with designs, especially if you want to hand off to clients, a lot easier. And you can use this in the simplest things, like you could create buttons as their own little patterns, and then you could build those patterns up into various different groupings, like we've seen here, and get as nested and as complex as you want to. I would recommend maybe keep it a little bit simpler than that, but you can do it if you want to. Anyway, this, in my opinion, is probably one of the most important things that have been brought to WordPress in a very long time. But as always, let me have your opinions down below in the comments section. All applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.